Y'all, today we have to talk about one of the weirdest things that's ever happened in the Wizard 101 Crown Shop. Today, one of the rarest, if not the rarest mount in Wizard 101 currently was put in the Crown Shop, not just for crowns, but also for gold. And the mount that I'm talking about is the Hobgoblin. And there's a reason why people are freaking out over this. This is a very, very rare item. In fact, it's not actually something that anyone has access to anymore. If you look on the wiki, the Hobgobbler used to be a reward for placing extremely high up on Decathlon events, and then they retired that entire reward structure. If you were to do Decathlon now, you could get all kinds of cool prizes and items, but you would never be able to have access to this Hobgobbler mount. It's essentially retired. The fact that it found its way to the crown shop and found its way there for gold is kinda nuts. Now, I think Kingsile actually responded very, very quickly. Like, even though this mount was on, like, you know, it was out here for like an hour, they, I think they reset the crown shop to like, you know, a previous version, like some kind of like weird, like, I don't know, factory reset or something for the day. So basically they reversed it, but not before a bunch of people presumably were able to buy this extremely rare mount. All of this, in my opinion, raises a lot of questions, right? What does King's Isle do when stuff like this happens? And I know stuff like this doesn't seem like a big deal. Like, why is this even a topic of conversation? This is very valid. If you asked me, if you told me this, like even a few months ago, maybe I would have been like, yeah, whatever, it's just a mount. But since then, I've known a lot about how stuff is valued in this game and events like this really change the value of items and they affect the overall market around them. A super analogous event actually happened with another another set of rare items in this game. And if y'all remember this, this actually really affected them. I'm talking about when Elucidates, Life Banes, and all kinds of other rare treasure cards got duplicated with a glitch. And because of this weird duplication glitch that people exploited, what people ended up doing was they flooded the bazaar with all of these rare TCs, and these treasure cards extremely tanked in value. While a retired treasure card like Elucidates they used to go for many, many empowers, which is the real way you trade these into worth. Now, it's just not the case. So basically, the people that actually, you know, had these items and kept them because of their rarity, they basically got stiffed for keeping them for so long. And what Kings Out ended up doing in that scenario, the duplicators got, got banned, right? They got banned from Wizard 101. But the people that actually ended up with the treasure cards, they nothing happened to them, basically because they technically did not do anything wrong. However, what I hope is that in this instance, nobody gets banned nobody gets you know any of that because technically this wasn't a glitch this is just something that you know maybe it could have just been an unannounced change to the innocent viewer someone could have just opened up the crown shop and seen this mount and you know maybe not realized that it wasn't supposed to be there and bought it or even gifted it to their friends so while i did see on the internet a lot of people were drawing parallels between you know this event and the duplication glitch event i just don't think it's the same because i don't think anyone should or could get banned for this even based on wizard one one's own tos so i really would not worry about anyone getting banned for this. If anything, if you ended up with a mount off of this, you're kind of lucky. You probably ended up with something super rare and valuable by sheer coincidence of the fact that you were like, you know, online during the time it was in the crown shop. I will say this though, I think this like, you know, little, you know, event or whatever you want to call it, I feel like it's kind of, you know, it's, it annoys me for two reasons. One reason it's annoying is because I feel like this is one of many, many examples of like, people keep items simply because they're rare. For example, right? For the Wizard World of Ones, I believe it was their 10th birthday, they actually gifted everyone really, really cool mounts based on the amount of time they've been playing. This Frontier Dragon, I got it because I played for so long. And the only reason I don't have an even rarer version is because the account that I used in beta wasn't this account. I think there's like a culture of value that builds around these really, really rare items. And it's, it's it can be a topic of conversation. It can be something simple that people feel special over, right? Why is it that every single time that something like this happens, there's no reverts to it, and things that are supposed to be valuable don't stay valuable. That part does annoy me. They've, they've done this with so many things, right? When there's a glitch that makes a treasure card worthless when it was valuable, there's nothing that's done to reverse it. If there's a mount that was super, super valuable that ends up in the crown shop, no one should be punished, but should they really be able to keep it? Isn't that kind of messed up? What about the crowns rewards that they did for hundreds and hundreds of dollars with really cool cosmetic items that just made their way back into the crown shop? Y'all remember that video? What I'm trying to say is this is a recurring thing. And I wish that they had the tools in place not to like, you know, ban anyone for doing any of this. This is not a ban conversation. But if something ends up in people's inventory that, you know, is extremely rare and, you know, maybe ended up there because of a human error, human mistake, I just wish there was a way to reverse it, you know, not just ignore it and brush it under the rug. Because I do think if you feel like, oh, I had this mount, now it's not rare. 
I, I kind of feel you. Even though I'm not someone with this map, I could see where they're coming from. The other thing that I think is really disappointing about this whole thing is that so many people's first thoughts were, yo, they should ban people for this or they will ban people for this. I think that's really sad because I think that because unfortunately, and this isn't something that's happened recently, but because Wizard 101 has a weird, has had a weird policy with chargebacks and their relationship to, you know, gifts, as in let's say that I bought money, bought crowns, gifted someone then charge back those crowns they have a weird policy of what happens to the person that got gifted if that amount is a lot the good news is i don't think they really had any like crazy you know in, in the past six months i want to say they haven't had any like egregious reasons why people should hate them for this policy they haven't seemed to exercise this policy in that negative of a way i think they've learned from a lot of the community backlash but it's still weird to me that even after that even after the backlash that they received they put out tweets saying they're going to improve their policies on this people are still jumping to the conclusion that if someone happens to like buy a mount that then got removed that somehow they could get banned for it i think that's silly even a company with weird policies that are a work in progress would never jump to that conclusion i don't know why people spread that info so much that this is bannable i think there are real things in this game that are and should be bannable and i wish people didn't like you know like i don't know like muddy the waters with with, with the distractions like this because i think it makes everyone look bad it makes them look bad it makes kings out look bad it's kind of whack i feel I feel like what they should really do as a response when these things happen and items that used to be rare are no longer rare even though this might be like a little bit of a, a little bit of a painstaking process i think they should find some way i'm sure there's a way to track this the original owners of the rare items and do something to them so that it still like has value so for example if you have a duplicated elucidate it should have like you know maybe nothing on it but if you don't have a duplicated elucidate maybe some sort of symbol on it that shows that it's a, an original maybe if you happen to have this original hobgobbler mount from doing something ridiculously insane that nobody else did at the time and now everyone has this hobgobbler maybe the original hobgobbler should have something you know done with it that doesn't ruin its original version but still shows that it's valuable and rare i know that seems like a lot of work on king's isle's part to like you know make probably you know probably a very small change apparent which is you know retain the rarity of an item that some people hold special but i think it's small little things like that that really connect you to the game you know there's like treasure cards and items and pets and stuff from years ago that I still keep in my inventory and they remind me of like you know all the time that I've spent on this game and the really cool things that I've done and I think there's something special in that that I don't think Wizard War 1 should take as lightly as they seem to have in the past. All in all let me know what you guys think about this obviously a crazy ass thing to happen rarest mount in the game possibly just being put in the crown shop could this be what they have planned for the birthday month maybe I don't know I feel like that could be what's actually happening here maybe we'll all have hop gobblers by the end of the month maybe but i i guess it, that, we'll see as always drop a like if you enjoyed leave us something new i look forward to reading y'all's opinions and thoughts on this stay awesome y'all see y'all soon and yeah yeah